Hey guys, in this video we want to talk about the possible reasons why our Bluetooth speaker is not charging anymore and also how to fix those problems. We start out with the easiest fixes and then work our way up to the more difficult problems. First we make sure that our charging cube is still working. We can do this by plugging in a different device to charge or we plug in our charging cable into a different USB port, for example the one from our laptop. Next we should make sure that our USB charging cable is still working. These cables do tend to break over time, so very often this is going to be the reason why your Bluetooth speaker doesn't want to charge anymore. And the easiest ways to check these is to plug in a different type of device or by using a completely different cable. Now another common issue is the charging port. First we're going to take a look at the inside of the port. In this case somebody jammed an object into the port and broke it internally. You can see how there's a piece of plastic missing in the middle and one of the metal contacts is bent all the way to the left. In this case this would mean that we have to completely replace the micro USB charging port. Another very common problem is when the USB charging port gets loose. This usually happens when we are putting pressure on the connector of the charging cable while it is plugged in. Here you can see an example of where this exactly happened. While I am slowly moving the connector up and down, there's a small gap between the charging port and the motherboard. And that is then the reason why our battery won't charge. And you know that you have exactly this problem when your speaker still charges in case you hold the charging cable in a specific angle to the speaker. In order to fix this issue, the speaker needs to be taken apart. Luckily, we find a lot of videos on YouTube that explain exactly how to take your specific speaker model apart. But we also need to be quite handy with a soldering iron in order to reconnect all the contacts of the charging port. In case you don't know how to do that yourself, maybe there's somebody you know that can help you with that. And after the repair, I also suggest to add some glue around the port in order to keep it more stable in the future. And then the last common issue is the battery itself. Again, you can find plenty of videos on YouTube that show you how to get access to the battery. And you should definitely examine the battery and see if it looks bloated. If that is the case, then it should be replaced. Yeah, and this is already it for this video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.